fragrance lovers i have another unboxing for you today and this one is from fragrance direct celebrity fragrances stash up from sarah jessica parker and Finally getting to try Fantasy by Britney Spears. I have heard so much about these. Not a sample in there. What a shame. What a shame. But here we go. Just going to open up the Fantasy bottle first because I've been keen to see this. Oh, cell phone. Oh my days. Such a beautiful box. I love the colors. Ah, look at that. It's so cute. It's so adorable. It's so teeny tiny as well. I didn't do it. Really, really adorable. Okay. And then we've got the stash up. Is it just me or is the cellophane around perfume bottles really hard to open? Really, really hard. Mm. So I'm getting very sophisticated vibes from the packaging on this. Let's get you open. Can't wait to get my greedy little hands on you. Okay, well. <laughs> it's like you've got a black plaster. On here, I don't think the bottle is anything to write home about. So these are celebrity fragrances that I bought because I was watching um, other YouTubers, mainly notes from Josephine, and she was talking about some underrated celebrity fragrances. And I think she mentioned one of the Britney Spears' ones. I'm not sure I bought the correct one, but I do like the bottle. It's so cute. It's really so adorable. And it's pink. And just from the design, I'm expecting this to be a fun, fun perfume. <laughs> right. Okay. Here you. I'm not getting anything from the bottle. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> it's very bubblegum. Mm -hmm. It's like a bubblegum shampoo. <laughs> Mm, but some depth to it with a little bit of, um, I want to say is that vanilla that I'm getting? Either it's vanilla or it's patchouli. But not bad, actually. I quite like it. Plus, I like the bottle. We'll have to see how it goes on with my body chemistry. Um, but so far, so good. But I do like the bottle. I think that the bottle is a great addition to the collection. And so far, the smell stands out quite well for me okay let's try sarah jessica parker stash up so this one was mentioned in one of jeremy fragrances videos i can't remember which one it is and it was mentioned in several other videos as well so i thought i'll try it i don't like the bottle i don't like the design uh, this feels very lazy to me because it's this <sighs> yeah anyway let's see if the juice is any good oh okay Nope. All right. Yep. Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh. You need muscles to open this. <laughs> right. Mm. Oh, whoa. Star anise straight away, but let's see what uh, it sprays like. Oh, I like the atomizer. Very easy to control. That felt very good. I could easily control how much I wanted to put on it, and it wasn't uh, jerky or jumpy. Hmm. Hmm. It's like a warm, warm. 
spicy. That's it. I'm getting a, a, a sense of spiciness. It's not my favorite. It's yet another blind buy, which is a habit I need to stop now. This is the third item that I've done a blind buy on. And <laughs> um, yeah, my initial impression is that I didn't quite enjoy it, but I'm going to give it a chance. I will try it on my skin and I will report back to you, lovely fragrance people, how I get on with it. Although my initial is uh, a little bit. But this one, oh yes, a bubblegum pop. So that was a Britney Spears fantasy. I think that this is the original fantasy. I think that there's a midnight fantasy as well, which I'm keen to try out at some point. Once I've saved up some money to do another epic perfume shopping. But there we go. Stash Up by Sarah Jessica Parker. Not quite yet, but we're going to go on a second date and a third date and see how we get on. This one, definitely liked our first encounter. And we're definitely going to be doing a bit more. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next time with another lovely perfume.